The mother left the two-headed baby after birth, but what happened will make you cry. The little boy, weighing 5 pounds 7 ounces, was born in Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Northern India. It was his 20-year-old mother's and 24-year-old father's first child, but the parents quickly discharged themselves and their miracle baby. Dr. Jeprakash Narayan, an assistant professor of the pediatric medicine department, said word quickly spread of the remarkable birth, and staff tried to catch a glimpse of the rare sight. He said, a baby boy with two heads was born yesterday in a healthy state. It was the couple's first child, which probably explains why they didn't see a doctor during the pregnancy and take extra precautions. The mother completed her pregnancy full term and was doing well post-surgery but the baby suffered breathing issues. Despite having two pairs of all of their internal organs they were all trapped in one body. The baby was placed in intensive care after he was born, and Dr. Narayan debated operating on the infant. He said, the operation is possible in some cases of conjoined twins but here it was nearly impossible. Despite having two pairs of all of their internal organs they were all trapped in one body, with only one pair of arms and legs. He decided it was too difficult to perform surgery in this case, and despite care the youngster developed breathing difficulties. His parents quickly discharged themselves to take their son home, but after 32 hours he sadly passed away. They are thought to be staying with family members to come to terms with the loss of their baby. The baby is thought to have born with the condition dicephalic parapagus, which is a form of partial twinning where there are two heads on one torso. The number of limbs and organs varies from case to case, but most are either stillborn or die soon after birth. Dicephalic parapagus differs from the condition commonly referred to as conjoined twins, whereby identical twins fuse together by various parts of their body.